never be able to go for whatever it is that you want in your career, meet the woman you want to, to be with, feel deserving of that relationship and so on because you lack competence. And it all begins with a guarantee. Good afternoon. Today we're going to be talking about how to rebuild competence in your life when you have lost it to your out of control sexual behavior. I'm JK Maisie, founder of Elevated Recovery and head coach of the Porn Reboot Coaching System. And this is Porn Reboot Coach in the Porsche. The reason why I'm addressing competence is because a lot of men who engage in an out of control behavior, especially when it's compulsive, lose confidence lose valuable skill sets, lose the ability to prioritize, to be efficient, and to organize their lives. And this causes their marriages to fall apart, their relationships with their children to disintegrate, their relationship with their employees and co-workers to fall aside, their leadership abilities to erode. A lot of great recovery programs out there bring men back to some form of a baseline, but it's almost as if most men who go through, who struggle with an addictive behavior, once they recover, are almost encouraged to live within certain parameters and boundaries so as not to slip or relapse, which ends up being a very average life. And that's one of the reasons why I don't recover, because I did not want an average life where I was living in constant fear of a relapse. I wanted to be able to thrive. And in order to do that, I had to become a competent individual in different areas of my life. And it's uh, something Thing that's very near and dear to me, teaching men to not only overcome their compulsive behaviors, but to thrive and to win, to go for everything they feel they deserve. What's competence? My rough definition of competence is the ability to execute with efficiency, talent, with reliability, predictability, to do good work. And when you struggle with an out of control behavior, you lose a lot of confidence. Primarily, emotionally, it comes from feeling like a fraud for so long. So once you've been lying to everyone around you, you've been living in shame and guilt, you may not realize this, but this will not just cause you to second guess things like your intimate relationships, but it will cause you to second guess all your values. And when you live with a behavior like this, the longer you live in shame and guilt, the more time this insidious behavior has to chip away at your self-confidence. I'm gonna give you the, the what, the what you need to do in order to begin to rebuild competence. And that's to ask yourself a simple question in whatever it is that you're executing or delivering, whether it is in a relationship or your career or a project you're working on, a business, something you're doing for a client. The question is, can I guarantee my work? Can I guarantee my work? This is so simple and so basic, but this is where you begin from. This is where you begin when you're not sure of your competence. And if the answer is no, I cannot guarantee my work, then that is the starting point. You go back to your work and you identify the weak spots. You identify the areas where you are insecure, areas where there is fear, areas where you are lacking in skill, areas where you need to upgrade your skill, the areas where there is a lot of cognitive dissonance and you are rationalizing and justifying in those areas. And you work on them till within you, you can guarantee your work. This doesn't mean that you work or you can't run your business or you can't be a family man or you can't deliver. It just means that you're never going to deliver with absolute excellence because you are questioning your competence. You might be able to serve lower level clients. You might be able to serve entry level. You might be able to do the most basic work, but you will never be able to charge the fees. You will never be able to ask for the raise. You will never be able to go for whatever it is that you want in your career, meet the woman you want to, to be with, feel deserving of that relationship and so on because you lack competence. And it all begins with a guarantee. Can I guarantee that I will be the best husband? Can I guarantee that I will be the best partner? Can I guarantee that I will deliver everything I can for my clients to the best of my ability? Can I do that? Now, a little caveat on guarantees. This is a little bit deeper, but highly successful people understand that nothing is guaranteed, okay? They know that, but at the end of the day, even if, let's say, I knew that when seeking a service, I'm not interested in 
whether somebody tells me they guarantee their work or not, I, I truly am not. I'm interested in their confidence in their ability to actually deliver. And you can tell when you've been shopping for things long enough, especially when it comes to services. You can tell when somebody absolutely has competence because even when they mess up the thing that they're doing, they will fix it immediately. They have the confidence that they can fix it and they will come back and fix it. So I just want to make it clear that it doesn't mean you have to be, guarantees don't mean that you have to be perfect and guarantees don't mean that you won't make mistakes. But guarantees are the place that you begin to measure competence. If you'd like to learn more about this, if you find this helpful, consider joining our free private and discreet Facebook group. It's called Porn Reboot for Business Owners and Entrepreneurs. And it's a place where I and my coaches and rebootists and reboot heroes dive deeper into some of the principles that I lay out on my Porn Reboot Coach in the Porsche videos. I'm JK, your brother in the struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Have a wonderful afternoon.